first play of the season is Cyrano de Bergerac. Uh, this is one of the most beautiful plays ever written. Most people have seen it once in their lives, maybe twice. Um, but it's a play that is so exquisite, so romantic, and so heartbreaking, and so funny that it deserves to be seen every five, six, seven years if you can find the right people to do it. What we're planning with Cyrano is um, is outrageous and sort of the punk version, uh, you know. <laughs> so it's um, uh, you know, it's we've got to be brave with it and new and, and reinvent it every time. I heard that uh, the Roundabout was doing Cyrano de Bergerac and um, that's two of my favorite things, Roundabout Theatre Company and Cyrano de Bergerac, so I thought there's two, and I called my agent and said, I'd love to do that if they're interested in having me in. I'm really excited about Cyrano. Hearing the director, Jamie Lloyd, talk about this production, I think people will understand why it's time to do Cyrano again. It's a classic play. There's a reason that it's endured for our centuries. The creative team for Cyrano consists uh, of Jamie Lloyd, the director, who is a British uh, director, who has a relationship having worked previously with Douglas Hodge in London. And Jamie often works with a designer, Sutra Gilmore, who will be designing the sets and the costumes for this production. She's also British and is quite um, well versed in this period and in this style. They're also going to emphasize not only the exciting language and the wit that we associate with Cyrano, but the ensemble nature of it. It's about not just this romance at the center of it, it's this whole group of people and setting the scene so that it's not just the sort of you know, well done period piece. It can be funny and body and rough because these are people fighting battles and, you know, at the peaks and valleys of falling in love and having your heart broken. It's gonna be a really visceral production. The thing about the nose is I really didn't want it to be a sort of Pinocchio nose. I wanted it to be real in the script. It's very much that uh, his mother more or less gives him away the moment she sees him and is disgusted by him, and he feels disfigured, and he says he has a growth on his face. And I think he has two choices. He can stay in his bedroom for the rest of his life, or he can create this in-your-face persona. So it seemed to me it shouldn't just be a comedy kind of clown nose or a funny, you know, it should be um, something really real, a real growth, as he calls it, a disfigurement, um, that makes him feel that he can never be loved by anyone and it almost creates his entire persona. I think Cyrano might be the most effective play ever written um, and the greatest role ever written for an actor I think is Cyrano de Bergerac. Aside from it being fantastically funny which is the other thing I feel and it of course being this extraordinary love story I, I just love this idea that he his self-esteem is zero really. These plays are about so much. They're about what it means to be human in a very deep, complicated way. I think it's going to be an extraordinary event. And uh, uh, even though you've seen Cyrano before, you'll never have seen a production like this one until you see the Roundabout Cyrano.